Good morning from Discovery Cove. We're here. We're going to Discovery Cove today. We are meeting up with our family. It's gonna be an exciting day. Yeah, I'm we really a, excited. We got a cabana, Jackson's first time. Yeah. I cannot wait. Should be real fun. I'm excited for some relaxing. Yeah, we got a little bit of a line here ahead of us. So we got in line, we got our temperature checked already and it's about 7.55. And this is the line ahead of us. We'll let you know as soon as we get inside. It goes around the corner over here and everything. It's moving pretty quick. Yeah, like I, I was kind of nervous that we were gonna be in line for a really long time, but it seems like we're kind of like moving every few minutes. Maybe like 30 minutes. That's, that's how long guess. we'll be in line? Okay, that's not so bad. I read some reviews online that people said they were in line for two hours to check in. Um, I'm glad we got here a little bit early because I think that's going to help. Yeah, also I read or I checked the, the tickets last night to see if there was any still available and mm -hmm. there were. So. Oh yeah, so it's going to be like a nice, not crowded day. Yeah, and they run at 50% capacity currently. Yeah, which is great. I'm excited. So if we're not even reaching 50% today, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. I know, I can't wait. It's going to be like super quiet all right we did it we are inside and it only took us uh like 20 like 17 minutes so not bad now we just got to check in and then we'll head inside another 15 minutes and we are inside so all in all just about 30 minutes from car to being inside of the park all right so we are headed back to get some food first and then we're gonna head to the cabana then we can get in the water and play i'm so hungry i'm very excited yeah <laughs> i've been saving up Oh, I know, yeah. A couple of parrots up here. All right, first stop, breakfast. Hello, here's what we got for breakfast. And it's really interesting, it's like cafeteria style where you just tell them what you want and they put it on a plate for you. So we got some French toast sticks, some sausage, some eggs, a biscuit. And then for Jackson, we got some sausage and French toast and some uh, watermelon and a banana. And we got some chocolate chip muffins. I got decaf coffee and an orange juice. After breakfast, they're parading some flamingos by. All right, first stop of the day, we're gonna go meet an animal mm -hmm. real quick. I don't know, we, it's a surprise. We don't know what animal we're gonna meet. I bet or it's gonna be an elephant. An elephant? I no. don't know. <laughs> also the only species of armadillo that can roll up entirely into a cute little ball. Just like that. Do they dig big holes too? They do dig big holes. So as he's kind of popping out there, you'll see his front claws are very sharp. They do dig very deep burrows. So between being able to ball up with that armor kind of protecting all their soft spots, as well as digging deep underneath the ground, that is how they'll be protected. Now when he's running around, he does run pretty fast. It kind of looks like he's running on those tiptoes. Um, and these guys will typically be running and digging, also looking for worms. They eat different bugs. Jackson. Are you going to pet Trace? Let's see. Jackson. He's close. Here I come. Let's see, buddy. He's, have you got it? Right here, buddy. He's like, I don't know. Right there, look. I don't know, Mom. There you go. Wow. Oh, watch out, watch out. You did so good, bud. <laughs> Aww. What is that little stinky face for? <laughs> they are related to like anteaters, so anteaters have that extra vertebrae. They can roll up into a ball as well. All SeaWorld parks are autism certified and they have quiet spaces. So here is their quiet space over here. So if you have somebody who's on the spectrum or if you just want to kind of get away from the crowds and just be in a quiet space for a little bit, you can come back here to this area, which is right across from Tropical Gifts. All right, all right, buddy. You ready to get in the water? He said, I He's think like, so. I think I'm just gonna sleep like this. <laughs> all right, buddy, what do you think? Say, so we're in our really fun uh, life jacket here. Oh <laughs> no. So this is how babies, if you've got an infant and you're coming to Discovery Cove, they have to wear this life jacket in the fresh water. They don't have to wear the life jacket. Oh, they don't? No, he can wear his vest only. Oh, and then we would just hold him? We would just hold him, yeah. Oh, we should have done that. No, well, I wanted him to be able to like float. Oh, I thought you said we had to wear this. No, they have to wear one or the other. Gotcha, okay. There you we go. kicking your leg, buddy? Are you kicking? Are you being a little buddy, you kicking your leg? Oh, look at that. Look at, <laughs> look at that boy. Look at you, you're moving around. You are. I like how he's just like... <laughs> you just swimming on your back.
ready for it? Look at that hair! Look at that splash hair! Buddy. Oh no, you're splashing mommy? Splash mommy. Are you splashing mommy? Splash mommy. So we're back out of the water and they're allowing us to use a beach stroller for Jackson. Pretty cool. It's got these like fun wheels. He's like off-roading. All right, here's what we got for lunch. I got a hamburger. Jackson got some vegetables and salmon. And then cheesecake and carrot cake. And got quinoa salad. It looks like it has black beans and corn and red peppers. Salmon, veggies, churrasco steak. A churrasco steak looks black. It looks very well done, but that's okay. Um, some rice, and I got some salad. They just wanted to try a little bit of everything. So what do you think of the food? The salmon is really good. Yeah? Yeah, I really like the salmon. It's like a, it's not like spicy, but it has like a, like like a southwestern kind of a flavor, sort of. Okay. And then it has pico de gallo on top. It's delicious. The steak has a good flavor, but it's really overdone and kind of tough. But the flavor's there. Okay. Um, I like the veggies. I like the rice. I did not love the, the quinoa salad. Oh, okay. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Huh. I thought my burger was pretty good. It looked good. How are the waffle fries? They're a little bit dry, but they're okay. <laughs> okay. Try it. Try a waffle fry. Okay. Dry? You know what I mean? Not greasy enough? You need more grease? Yeah, they need to be like, I don't know. Like they've been underneath the heat lamp for a little bit. Mm, okay. Yeah. The salmon is where it's at. Get the salmon. Okay. Jackson loves it too. Yeah, he's doing good. We have a bunny at our cabana site. Look at this little tiny baby bunny. Oh my goodness. Jackson. Is that so funny? That is so funny. There's a bunny over there. Wow. Yeah, Dada. That's awesome. Oh, he's eating a little leaf. Look at that. It rained for a little bit, so we had to stay out of the water, but the rain has stopped. So now we're getting ready to head back in. We brought Jackson into the other river without the life vest. We just have the like wetsuit vest. Yeah. And he seems to be more, plus he had his nap. So he seems to be a little bit more- Like looking around. Able to, yeah. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Oh no, we're gonna hit the wall. Oh no. So this is where the marmosets live. I don't know if it's here. I, I think it's over. No, I think it's, is it not here? No. It might be over this way, but because it's still kind of drizzling, she did say that one of the lifeguards said that the marmosets might be in their cubbies because they don't really like the water. We're gonna look. Yeah, we might see them, we might not. But we will see a cute baby Jackson. Where? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There's that buddy. Say, splash that camera. No. <laughs> There's that little buddy. Oh no, it's raining harder now. You getting rained on, buddy? Jackson, how's that rain feel? Hey. <laughs> da? 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 Do you not like the rain? No. Yeah. You're not sure about the rain, buddy? Let's go see the others. So we moved from the warm area where the marmosets and the otters were, and now we are in the somewhat warm area. Oh no. But the rain is making it cold everywhere. Okay, here it's gonna get deep. Who's that? Is that Daddy Silly? You're vlogging? Oh yeah. Are you vlogging? 
Like, I will swim over to you and take that camera out of your hands. Oh. Alright, so we've spent a lot of time in the warm water, like over in where the marmosets are and just a lazy river that goes through the aviary. Now, we're going to go in the cold, cold water on the Grand Reef. We've got about 30 minutes before they'll kick us out of the water. So let's get in there and swim with the fishes. All right, so we just finished in the Grand Reef. It was a little bit warmer than I thought it was gonna be, <laughs> uh, but the park's closed now, so we have to head out. Yes. But we're gonna give you guys our thoughts when we get home. So in the hustle and bustle of everything that we were doing today, I totally didn't show you, but we got a cabana today. This is our view out on the Dolphin Lagoon. 
but I'm gonna back out right now and show you all. Like, it's kind of a mess right now, but this is our cabana. So it's got a fan inside of it, a nice cover, little table here, a couple of seats, snacks, a refrigerator, storage here, all the towels we can use, you know, sunscreen. We had a life vest for Jackson. They brought over sand toys for Jackson to play with, everything. And we had a fantastic view. Also, bunnies were running by. Also, one thing that I wish we had been able to take advantage of, but today was too, uh, like, hustle and bustle. There's a hammock here. It's a nice hammock. Perfect yeah. for relaxing. Yeah. And I like that it's all surrounded by the bamboo, so we were really, like, kind of secluded, which was great. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Discovery Cove. It was a fantastic day. It was. It was a lot of fun for many reasons. We love Discovery Cove. We always have a great time, but we also got to spend the entire day with your whole family. Yeah. It was really cute. I know we didn't show them, but um, it was really cute to see like our nieces and they were really enjoying themselves and Jackson loved seeing them and grandma and grandpa time. It was just really, it was a nice day. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. So we had a cabana that we had for this day. We showed you a little bit of it in this video, but it was after we had it for the whole day. So it was very disheveled, but we have actually reserved this exact cabana before. And it is, in my opinion, the best one. Yeah. If you can, if you're thinking about going to Discovery Cove and you want to reserve a cabana for the day for your family or just for your trip, it uh, this one is the one I would recommend. Yeah, it's got a view of the Dolphin Lagoon. Lots of space. It's got a hammock. It's got a, a refrigerator and a locker. They, they all have that, but I think just the view from this one is my favorite. Plus, we saw a bunny. Yeah, that was really fun. I don't know how that bunny got there. Really? I mean, it's the wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another thing is that the cabanas all come with a concierge. Yeah, we didn't we didn't show her much in this video, but she helped out so, so much. It was awesome. She took all of our stuff to the cabana, which was great because we had so many kids with us. Mm -hmm. It was just really nice to have the extra hand. Um, she helped when Tim's mom needed to use the wheelchair on the beach and she helped push. And it was just really great. She like kept the kids entertained. It was wonderful. And my dad's blind and she helped him out. Yeah, she was like guiding him around. It was really, really nice just to have somebody that was just so nice and helpful. Yeah. So, I don't know. I had a fantastic time at Discovery Cove. Can't wait to go again. And we've been several times. We really love it there. And if you've watched our videos for um, a few years, you've probably already seen our Discovery Cove videos. We always have just a really like relaxing, enjoyable day. I'm going to leave the uh, other videos where we went swimming with sharks. We did the Sea Venture, which is like the really neat helmet scuba diving thing. Mm -hmm. We did um, just tons of snorkeling with the rays. They used to offer a massage at the park. I don't know if they still do that, but I will leave that video down below. That was one of the most relaxing times we've ever had there. It was just really fun. Yeah, I am a little sad that we didn't get to go into the aviary this time. Oh, uh, we swam through it, Yeah, but we didn't actually go in and like feed the birds. Right, so. Well, I guess we'll just have to go have back. To go back. <laughs> so uh, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So the organization we would like to shine a spotlight on today is the Surfrider Foundation. And the Surfrider Foundation is dedicated to the protection and enjoyment of the world's oceans, waves, and beaches for all people through an activist network. So the things that they're fighting for are plastic pollution reduction in all of the marine environments that surround us, ocean protection. So they're defending the ocean from the challenges that are threatening the vitality of the ecosystem, like climate change, rising acidity levels in the ocean, things like that, things that are really deteriorating the quality of the ocean. Um, they're fighting for beach access. So they were working with decision makers to ensure full and fair beach access for all to enjoy. They're working on coastal preservation, taking on issues that threaten the beaches and the natural shorelines. And they're fighting for clean water by protecting the health and sustainability of our planet's most precious resource. So if you would like to learn more about the Surfrider Foundation, please have a look at the link in the description down below. And thank you all for watching this video.